All right, how's everybody doing today? We are going to take a look at chapter 8 now in our first section of quadrilaterals where we look at finding angle measures and polygons. So a lot of information here in this section. First thing we need to do is define the word diagonal. Now a diagonal is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. And if you look at our picture over here on the right hand side, we've got a six-sided figure. Now I can pick any vertice that I want. I'm just going to start down here with number six. And I'm going to pick that vertex and what I'm going to do is draw a diagonal from here all the way over to angle two. And then another one to angle three and another one to angle four. Those are my non-consecutive vertices, angles two, three, and four. Now one of the things that this helps me do sometimes is figure out how many degrees all of those angles on the inside of that figure should add up to because what I just did is I divided that figure into triangles. So I've got one, two, three, four triangles inside this figure. I already know that there's 180 degrees in a triangle and I know that I've got four triangles in this figure. So if I multiply 180 times four I end up with 720. So in this particular figure the sum of those angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 would be 720. Now with that said, this gives rise to a theorem. Now the theorem states that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any convex n-gon is 180 times n minus 2, or sometimes textbooks will flip that around and write it as n minus 2 times 180. And 180 comes from the number of degrees in a triangle. n is your number of sides of the figure. Now with that said, there's also a corollary to that, and that says that the measure of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So one of the things you're going to have to remember is that a quadrilateral has got four sides. So any four-sided figure, if you add up this, the, all of their interior angles, all four of them, they will add up to 360. And that just kind of makes sense, because say you have this shape right here, we could start at one vertice, go to the other, look, we've got two triangles. If we have this kind of shape, same thing, divide it in half, go from one diagonal to the other, we still have two triangles. And any way we look at it, two triangles have a sum of 360 degrees. Now here in our first example, it says find the sum of the measures so of the angles of a convex octagon. So you have to know that an octagon means an eight-sided figure. N is going to be eight. So the sum of the interiors is going to be 180 times 8 minus 2. Now 8 minus 2 is 6, so I have 180 times 6. And when I multiply 180 times 6, I get 1,080 degrees. So here we go in our figure. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and we draw one more in there. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. Now one of the things too that's a pattern is take a look at this number right here, the number of triangles on the inside, and this number right here. There are six triangles at 180 degrees apiece, so that gives us a product of 1,080 degrees. Now for this one, we've got to do something a little bit different. Here we're told that some of the measure of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 900 degrees, and we've got to figure out how many sides there are. So in this particular problem, I'm given the information where I know 900 degrees is the sum of the measures of the interior angles. So that number is going to go for, so I'm going to make that substitution of 900 for the sum of the interiors. Now what I'm going to do next to solve this, there's a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to do this this way. I'm going to divide both sides by 180. When I do that, 900 divided by 180 gives me 5. Now this 180 and this 180 cancel out, so the only thing I'm left with is just n minus 2. Now to continue to solve this, I'll add 2 to both sides, so I'll end up with 7 for the value of n. And then the last thing that I'll do is I'll write my answer in a sentence. The convex polygon has seven sides. So that's it. We just have to make a simple, simple substitution and then go through and do the algebra and arithmetic for this problem. Question three here, example number three, we've got a coin in the shape of a regular n-gon. Some of the measures of the interior angles is what we've got to find. Now an n-gon, an 11-gon is pictured here in the Susan B. Anthony dollar, which was 
a coin developed in the United States that's worth a dollar. You've got to be careful when you put these things into vending machines because sometimes it'll think it's a quarter. It's about that size. It's a little bit bigger. If there's 11 sides, that tells me N is going to be 11. So the sum of the interiors is going to be 180 times 11 minus 2. Now 11 minus 2 is 9, and when I multiply that together, I get a total of 1,620 degrees. So the sum of the measures of the interior angles for an 11 god is 1,620 degrees. Now question number four is a lot like question number two. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 1440 degrees. Classify the polygon by its number of sides. So this is going to be very similar to example number two, only this time instead of the polygon having 900 degrees, this one has 1440 degrees. So that is going to get substituted right here. So I'm going to have 1440 equals 180 times n minus 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 180 and when you do that you'll end up with 8. Adding 2 to both sides will end up with 10. So then we'll answer our question. The convex polygon has 10 sides. Now I want to show you a different way to do it because some people might prefer to do this this way. They might set 1440 140 equal to 180 times n minus 2 and if you distribute the 180 to both uh, terms you'll end up with 180 n minus 360 then when you sub add 360 to both sides you'll end up with 1800 equals 180 n and then when you divide both sides by 180 you'll end up with 10 for the value of n. So you could do this problem two different ways. Either way, it's up to you, as long as you make sure you do your arithmetic correctly and your substitutions. When you're done, don't forget to answer the question in a complete sentence. Now for question 5, this says find the value of x in the diagram shown. So what we've got to recognize here in example number 5 is that this shape is four-sided, which means it's a quadrilateral. In any four-sided shape, the sum of the interiors is always going to be 360 degrees. So I know that 360 degrees is going to be the sum of 108 plus the 121 plus the 59 degrees and then plus whatever x is. So that's how one way we could set this problem up. So when I combine like terms, I'll get 288 and then I'll subtract 288 from both sides to end up with a value of 72 for x. That's all there is to it. Just be sure you take your time and show your arithmetic and algebra correctly. Now for example 6, here we've got to use a diagram to figure out how many degrees are in angles s and t. Now one of the things we want to pay attention to in our diagram is that both angle s and t, look at the way that they're marked. That means both of these guys right here, they're going to be the same value. So I'm going to call both of those x degrees because I don't know what they are. So together I've got 2x degrees right there and then I've got the 85, the 156, and the 93. Well this particular figure I'm gonna have I'm gonna divide it up into triangles and I'm gonna start from this vertex right here, vertex P. So I've got one, two, three triangles. So 180 times three triangles that's going to give me 540 degrees. So I know that all of those angles on the inside should add up to 540. So I'm going to have 540 degrees is going to be equal to the 93 plus the 156 plus the 85 degrees for angle R plus S and T which are both X so that's going to give me 2X altogether. When I combine like terms I get 334 so I'll have 540 equals 334 plus 2X then the next thing I'm going to do is subtract 334 from both sides. That's going to leave me with 206 is going to be equal to 2x. And then divide both sides by 2. And you're going to end up with 103 for the value of x. So that means angle S and angle T are each 103 degrees. So be sure you write a sentence then that answers that question. A couple more examples to go and then we're done. So here for example 7. We've got the measures of three of the interior angles of a quadrilateral are 89, 110, and 46 degrees. Find the measure of the fourth interior angle. All right, no big deal. 
all four angles of a quadrilateral, well, they add up to 360 degrees, and that's going to be equal to 89 degrees plus that 110 that I'm given, plus I've got a 46 degrees. I don't know the fourth angle, so I'm going to let that angle just be x. And very, very similar to what we've done before, you're just going to add them all up and then subtract from 360. So we get 245 degrees for that sum. The next thing we'll do is we'll subtract 245 from both sides, and that leaves us with 115 for the value of x. So, again, we answer the question in a complete sentence. Measure the fourth interior angle is 115 degrees. Booyah, we're done. Two more examples to go. So here for our last two examples, we're going to use this one really cool theorem that says the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon is always 360. So, no big deal, you guys got this stuff. Now, what you have to do sometimes is you'll be given a diagram like we have here, and we've got all these different exterior angles. So what we want to do to figure out the value of x, we got to add them all up and set them equal to 360. So we're going to take the 2x and the x and the 67 and the 89 and set that equal to 360 degrees. Booyah! Now when I combine like terms, I'll get 3x plus 100 and 56 equals 360. When I subtract 156 from both sides, so minus 156 on each side, I'll end up with 3x has a total of 1, 4, 114. But I've got to divide both sides by 3 to wrap this one up, so I'll end up with 38. So the value of x in this diagram is 38. Now, our last problem here, same thing, but this time they don't give us a picture, they just give us words. A convex hexagon has, an ex has exterior angles with the measures of 34, 49, 58, 67, and 75. What's the measure of the exterior angle of the sixth vertex? Now, one thing you have to recognize here on this one is that the word hexagon means that there are six sides. Now, they give us one, two, three, four, five. They give us five of those exterior angles, so we only have to, we do only have to find that last one. So, again, same idea. Add up all of these guys right here, plus our missing angle, whatever that is, and set it equal to 360. So, all six of those angles should add up to 360. I bet you guys can rock this one out on your own. So, how'd you guys do with this? Add them all up, set them equal to 360. Make sure you got an equation that demonstrates your thinking. You want to clean that up on the left side, so we end up with 283 plus x equals 360. Then when you subtract 283 from both sides, you end up with 77. And then that's it. Don't forget to write that sentence. That answers the question. So there we are. The measure of the exterior angle at the sixth vertex is 77 degrees. Booyah, we're done. All right, that's it for this section. Make sure you guys tune in for the next piece where we're going to do two sections together, A2 and A3. More on that, though, in the next videos. That's it for this one. I'm out of here. Peace.